What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide. Just short and sweet, we are going to be covering a Fernando Torres El Nino 95 overall, but the version that we have is going to be a 94 overall uh, for both because I think that there, has, there are a lot of wasted stats that you can pump into Torres and we'll keep this short and sweet as well. So it's, it's a young version Fernando Torres. Uh, don't need to worry about the playstyle proficiency. He also has standard form, but he's on B rating. And it's the stats here and the player skills that are very interesting. Is he a Romario-esque type player? I would say no. He doesn't have the dribbling, but he does have everything else, but he doesn't have the dribbling. He does have double touch, soul control, chip shot control, rising shot, acrobatic finishing and first time shot, but he also has track back. So he's a kind of a different type of player and he also has heading, rising shot, uh, heel trick, a couple of unique player skills and stats that line up for a nice variety of training, right? So the thing about Torres is that he's going to be kind of like your all-rounder, right? He's kind of like, I would say, Pez 18, Cristiano Ronaldo, um, where he didn't have the blister and pace, but he had everything else, including the finishing, the positioning, and his offensive awareness is going to make this card key. So we have two builds of him, right? The first build we have is going to be this Torres here. Ignore that defense uh, additional skills for now. We'll touch on that in a minute. Um, but this Torres here is a 94 rated player that you're going to have as kind of like a, kind of an impact player. You're not going to be maybe starting him. Uh, you're going to be bringing him on as a sub or else you're going to be bringing him on and playing him for the first 50 to 60 minutes, depending on how you go. And then you can kind of recycle it and then change things on the on the bench if you aren't happy with how it's going or you're losing or you're drawn and you need that little pop off the bench with a various uh, with various other impact players. Right. But this is another build of him that I like to see with 88 finishing, 88 offensive awareness and 88 acceleration with 85 speed. I mean, he's going to get a boost with the player form arrow to offensive awareness, finishing, and acceleration that are going to be all in the 90s. That's all you really need with this card, okay? Um, I would probably throw on, with the additional skills here, I would probably throw on... I'd probably throw on super sub and one touch pass onto this card to really make him, you know, like an absolute demon uh, if you were going to train him up. And to be honest with you, for this other version of him, he's still a 94 rated card. I would probably keep the additional skills the same. Um, you're not going to be really changing too much. The difference between this card and the other card uh, version of him is the you're going to be taking down everything offensively, um, but you're going to be making him more of a complete all-rounder because he does have that heading stat and that acrobatic finishing. This is probably a more well-rounded version of him. You've got 80 jump, 82 kick and power, 86 speed and acceleration, 81 balance, 86 offensive awareness, and 85 finishing. So you're kind of getting that boost to a lot more stats. Dribbling is a concern. This version of him is only 78 dribbling. This one is 81. So I do think getting him over the 80 is a must if you are looking for a run and gun Romario-esque type player. But look, I mean, Torres is Torres. Um, I would have liked to have seen, even if they'd given him maybe an extra five levels, if he'd got like 36 levels, that you were able to get the acceleration and the finishing up to the 90 zone while still having this card. So if you had like, you know, finishing at 88, acceleration at 88, and offensive awareness at 88, with the rest of these stats, the balance, the kick and power, all of that, with the jump, I think he would have been a well-rounded Cristiano Ronaldo-esque type player that when he was beasting in eFootball. But for now, we are left with this version of him. There are other versions of him, but this is one of the fastest versions of Torres. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the review. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We will see you in a little bit.